Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So, today I will share an untethered method for the T2 MacBook activation lock screen bypass on the latest iBridge OS 9 or further 9.1 on the latest Mac OS Sequoia. This is the new untethered method that means you can easily reboot or shut down your MacBook without lock again. Also, the OTA update also supported, and everything will be working in this method. This method works with the MacBook that having the t2 intel chipset you can check out the supported model list on the screen if you have these model and the similar kind of issue then this video is for you so now without further delays let me just go to my computer screen and start this process okay so first we will download this hfz activator t2 premium version 4.0.1 for the download links you can check out the description you will get all there after that you can simply install it on your system Okay, so we have installed the tool. Here is the latest HFZ T2 Premium version 4. And you can see you will get this booting and prepare option, activate and some instruction already written on the tool. You have to first completely restore your device with the Apple configurator to the latest iBridge OS 9.1 or whatever the latest version in the future. After that, you can follow this uh, instruction. Obviously, I will show you how you can do that step by step. So first, uh, I will just uh, connect my MacBook with a Type-C to C cable. So let me just connect it. Now next you have to put your locked MacBook into the DFU mode. So for that there are some specific key combination for the DFU mode. So I will just display some example on the screen so you can pause the video and check it out. Or you can google it according to your model. You will get easily information about the DFU mode instruction as per your model. Alright now the DFU mode is ready you will see the finder or iTunes pop up on the screen also the HFZ tool will show the device details now next first thing you have to download the Apple configurator 2 from the app store and after that you have to restore your locked MacBook with the latest iBridge OS 9 or 9.1 so that your locked MacBook will become on the latest iBridge OS and then we can do the further bypass process now this restore part I have already done on my MacBook before so that we can save the time but you can can do it it's very simple you have to just put your log macbook into the dfu mode and open the apple configurator and just right click on the dfu screen and click on restore after that just wait for it to get complete once the restore will be done you will see the apple logo and the, some loading process and after that you will see the activation lock screen again and then we can move further to the bypass process Alright now after the Apple configurator restore done and you are on the activation lock screen again you need to put your device into the DFU mode. After that simply click on the boot and prepare option. Next you will see this device not authorized that means you have to register your ECID in the server first so that you can use the tool. So for that it's very simple you just need to copy your ECID and model number and after that you need to send me this ECID and model number on my telegram and after that I will register it. Okay, so now I have registered my device in the tool server. Now I will just put the device into the DFE mode again and just click on boot and prepare and start the bypass process. Now the DFE mode is detected, just click on the boot and prepare. Now see it's working and exploiting the device. Let's wait for it to get complete. And if you have a touch bar model Intel T2 Mac, you will see this verbose boot and exploit running on that touch bar. Now it's almost done and you will see it will just show wait for the device to boot up and click on activate. So just click on OK. Here you don't have to wait for the Mac to boot up. You just need to click on OK and activate button will appear and click on that. Because your Mac will not directly boot up. It will show it will boot up but just ignore that. You have to just click on OK and just directly click on activate and it will proceed further. 
Now you can see it start proceeding further. Let's wait. Now it's done. You will see the device is activated. Click on OK and now you can close the tool. We are done. Now on the locked MacBook, you will still get this black screen. Don't worry about that. You have to press the power button and after that, you have to be quick and you have to go to the internet recovery so that you can install the new OS from Apple. So you have to press the command plus R or option plus command plus R. You can use any and it will go to the recovery mode. For this time, I'm using option plus command plus R that will give me the new recovery mode to the new macOS Sequoia directly or you can use the default recovery mode that is the command plus R that will give you the default OS like Catalina, Mojave, High Sierra as per your model but don't worry about that even if you use the command plus R old recovery mode you can update later your macbook to the newer version from the macbook settings after the bypass so you can use any of them both will work now you can see you will get this globe screen just connect with the wi-fi and proceed further now it start downloading the operating system files you have to wait for it to get complete make sure your internet is fast it will take time according to your internet speed so i will skip this part and fast forward the video so that it will save time Now select your language and proceed further. You will get on this uh, recovery mode. This is the new recovery mode. As I mentioned, I have used option plus command plus R. But if you have used old recovery mode, that is the command plus R. The interface might be different, but everything will be same in the process. Now connect to the Wi-Fi. Now next, go to the disk utility. If you are on old recovery mode, you will get this option from the top bar. Now from here, you need to erase your SSD and create the new partition. Now it's done, click on OK, close the disk utility. Now simply click on reinstall macOS Sequoia and proceed further. So now it's installing the OS and it will take time. So let's just wait for it to get complete. I will just skip this part or fast forward it so that it will save your time. Alright, so macOS Sequoia is successfully installed on my system. After the installation is done, you will see your Mac will be reboot and it will show the Apple logo with some loading bar. Just wait for it and after that you will get on this country or region selection page. Now from here, simply set up the Mac to the home screen. It's very easy. Just follow me. Now we are at data and privacy page. Now simply set up the device.
okay so welcome to the mac and you can see we have successfully bypassed the iCloud activation lock screen on the t2 macbook with the latest ibridge os 9.1 on the latest mac os sequoia you can check out everything works well with this method and it's a completely untethered method that means you can reboot your device normally without lock again and all the features will work so let me just directly power off the Mac and show you the method is fully untethered. Alright, so Mac is on again. You can see Untethered is working good. So you can also try this method if you have a similar kind of issues on your MacBook with a T2 chipset. You can try this method and easily do the full untethered bypass. Everything will be work again. And this method also support the OTA update. That means you can directly update to the new version from the device settings and it will not lock again. So it will work good even after you update your MacBook. So that's all for today's video session and I hope you gained some knowledge and please like this video and share with your friends and please support my channel by subscribing it and if you have any queries you can write down in the comments. So I will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out.